Welcome back everyone to Forza 6 and a couple of things before we continue on with the career mode. Sorry for the length of the uh, previous episode but the uh, recording corrupted pretty much after the Renault Clio race at Silverstone so there was no point in putting it out. It was uh, The picture was skipping and it was just not a good quality at all and I, I at least wanted to show you the last race of that series because we've been doing that. And secondly I uh, part way through that video obviously because it started corrupting I was already on the second race of the uh, new US Open uh, Tour uh, in BMW M235i so yeah uh, you ain't seen the first two races of that but we've got three more races or so to do so yeah we're going to continue on with that uh, I ain't graded this BMW myself it wasn't manual it wasn't automatically upgraded so yeah 385 horsepower nearly 400 foot pounds of torque and doesn't even weigh 3,000 pounds and yeah it's been a, a pretty good car so far won me the first two races that you unfortunately uh, weren't able to see but yeah let's uh, continue on with the uh, series it's the uh, US tour next stop in Indianapolis so yeah let's go three laps your next race will be at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway also known as the Brickyard so yeah we're only on the third race there's plenty of more to see out of this series. So yeah, hopefully no more recordings will corrupt. Because that really did annoy me. That was half an hour nearly of a uh, video out the window because of that. And I thank you for your understanding. And to uh, kind of make up for it, I'm going to put steering on simulation. See how we deal with this. Hopefully, I won't crash. <laughs> that really won't be making up for it at all, would it? Yeah, I only had a choice of three cars, uh, so I went for the BMW because it was overall the best of the three. I think the other one was a Nissan 370Z and I can't remember the other one. Oh yeah, the Ford Focus RS in front of me. That one. So yeah, it wasn't all that much choice. So I opted for the car that was already a good car to start with. Not that the Focus and the Nissan are bad, but this is the better of the two stock. Stock in. This is upgraded really rather nicely with all this power and uh, handling. And even though I don't like the car normal, it hasn't stopped. The upgrades I do rather kind of like it. problem with simulation steering, if you get it wrong you uh, end up crashing. But I do need to challenge myself more with this series, so, and I did say I would have slowly up the ante when uh, going through the series, so yeah, I'm only doing what I promised, and pretty much what I should be doing anyway. There's no point keeping it uh, the same all the time, otherwise it's boring. Understeered. Somehow this crappy little dodge is keeping up. Come on, I have nearly 400 horsepower and telling me it's keeping up. Bad for them. Wow, 
whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, simulation steering does give you a bit of a tank slapper at times. Don't know if that's realistic or not, or it's how the controller is set up, but yeah, you know, it's got to deal with it. I quite like this new Indianapolis circuit to be honest. Kind of shakes it up how it was from the original. It's pretty much just a banked corner that original. Yeah, this dodge is a bit quicker than I was expecting it to be. knows what he's putting in that. <laughs> I'm guessing it's probably lighter than mine. But it is only front wheel drive, so he's having a bit of trouble there. <laughs> oh dear. My main criticism of this BMW is the sound of the engine. It really isn't a sports car like at all. It doesn't sound furious, it doesn't sound, you know, like a sports car really. It just sounds a bit dull. I guess you could put that down to the uh, fact it's got turbochargers, but even then some cars that do have turbochargers that are in the same class as this do sound good anyway, so uh, I have no real uh, idea why it sounds as dull as it does. Sort of like a drone, really. But nonetheless, it's a good enough car to help me win. Guess I shouldn't really shouldn't complain. <laughs> This hasn't been on the game since this series of motorsports since four, I think. So, yeah, it's glad to glad to see it back. I'm looking better than ever as well. So these are one of my more favourite tracks to test a car on because even though it doesn't have anything in terms of a massive straight, it is a really really twisty track and does test your car on brakes and handling and suspension etc. So. Yeah. Let's see what mods we can put on. So we have twenty percent braking, six percent grip, sixteen percent braking, minus three percent weight. Plus 9% grip, plus 8% braking, and plus 6 grip. Uh, I think we'll go for the first one. The rare one. Uh, I'm not into any of those dares really. Just keep with the uh, crew upgrade, or crew mod, should I say. Go. 
four laps. It's probably a bit longer than Indianapolis. But be fun though, nonetheless. Sorry, Subaru. Ah, this is a longer one as well. I barely even touched you Weevo, don't overreact. <laughs> no, no, that's really overreacting going into the tire wall. Fellow BMW up front. Watch it, see so Rudy's Jesus Christ, no reason for you to come out to the left then. A bit aggressive these guys, aren't they? To get used to the simulation steering, I think we'll upgrade the uh, driver's hard difficulty. Because even though they are a challenge at times, they do seem to be getting past them quite easily. Whoa! Hold your horses, BMW, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's why I've not up upped the uh, driver tower difficulty quite yet, because that kind of can't happen. And even though I do have rewinds, I don't want to be rewinding all the time. Third lap, comfortably first for now. Whoopsie daisy, whoa, whoa. Bit off road in there. We're not on Forza Horizon 2 anymore. <laughs> Somehow I'm on a clean lap to fight that off. It kind of makes no sense, I guess, but maybe they've changed the way it makes a dirty lap. Maybe they've changed it to a, if it gives you an advantage, it's a dirty lap. Cutting corners. I think I was scraping on the floor then on my bump in the front. I have lowered the suspension on this, so I won't be any surprise. Final lap. Yeah, I think it's definitely changed it to uh, whether or not you get an advantage for going off. 
that would have normally given me a uh, triangle. Got a convincing win by the looks of it. No idea if that's a decent lap time though. <laughs> Known for a challenging mid-dip corner called the Kink. Don't think we've been on this uh, circuit yet since we started this series. But then again, there are plenty more tracks than there were on the last game, so no surprise. Buy a mod pack, see what we can get. Cool. So yeah, let's uh let's do a dare. slows down a bit but well yeah it will slows down a bit because it's a dare but you know it shouldn't do too much four laps ah yeah <laughs> that is a bit of a detriment that it's kind of like we've got a broken gearbox there was cheating naughty
It's almost like I have someone from driving school uh, shifting my gears. For no need to break there. It's like the top three are well ahead at the moment. And fifth isn't far behind. Not with this crappy gearbox, no. so close. Yeah, I'd have won if I had that gearbox, but that's the point of being uh, taking a dare. It's a risk. It wasn't all that much worth it for all the money though I got. At least I won a spin prize. 75 grand, fairly decent. Nearly on level 2. And it's a showcase I've unlocked. But yeah, uh, Thanks for watching. We'll do the last race in the next episode. So yeah, uh, 
sorry for the uh, length of the last episode, but I think I've kind of made up for it on this one. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.